Hey, it's Dude here. Um, going to go ahead and try my first attempt at building a wind generator. As you can see here, I've already taken a piece of 4-inch, uh, uh, I believe it's Schedule 80 uh, PVC. This is about 2.5 feet long. Uh, this is my own design. Uh, I kind of did look on the net, and I found one design from a guy who... Uh, claims that this little furl right here at the end will catch a lot more wind and uh, cause the uh, the blades to spin faster. Uh, you can see here's a uh, four and a half foot piece of a Schedule 80 uh, PVC pipe. Uh, if this one here is successful then I've got enough here to make two more. I'm gonna have to cut it down obviously to uh, to fit. This one here is two and a half foot blades and uh, that one I can only get a uh, two four-foot blades out of, or eight four-foot blades. But uh, here's the blades I've got so far. I know they're still a little dirty, but uh, uh, I've calculated out the uh, the uh, end of the tip, the length of the tip, and the uh, length of the inside curve uh, using this guy's calculations. It's, so far, it seemed to come out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get them all sanded down round over the leading edge this here this here is going to be the leading edge all the way all the way up this will be the mounted to my rotor side and um, as you can see once it's turned up it gets a nice little nice little curve on it anyways uh i'll get all this sanded down and get the tip the uh, leading edge rounded over and uh i've also heard that on the trailing edge here that if you sharpen that to a point that it will drastically cut down on the amount of uh, vibration and noise that uh, these can make in high winds. But I'm in Texas and uh, as you can see, uh, yeah, there's like no wind right now. Uh, I'm in the Houston area so we, we basically get an average of two to five mile an hour winds and uh, we get a little bit more out, out where my property's at, and uh, sometimes it can hit up to a constant of 10 to 11 uh, miles an hour, and, uh, and these should do pretty good out there. But uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do as far as the generator yet, the actual electronic motor or permanent magnet motor. I may do a alternator uh, from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar or... I may build my own axial flux. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I may end up, end up even trying both of them out to see which one gives me better power. More than likely, it's probably going to be the uh, PMA from Missouri Wind and Solar, but you never know. All right, this is Dude. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.